<laughs> Welcome back to our playthrough of the DMX version 3 blue. Um, nothing to question about the red. In fact, I, I think they might have just gone on a vacation. They went off to a farm where they could play and run free with all the other Triceramon Xs. Noble Pumpmon, though, is just about to evolve, and I don't have them to level 7 yet, you know? Slightly concerning. Hold on, first of all, what's the role? What's the battle role for the day? I guess that would matter. Oh, uh, yeah, fine, if you must know. Triceramon X left behind a traded egg. Evolution failure, womp womp. Eh. That's how it goes. I made two care mistakes, and they were like, well, I'm out. I, I, I don't know. Like, clearly I made three care mistakes, and I just, I don't know where that was. So, rest in peace, Triceramon X. Thanks for leaving a traded egg behind, though, bud. I really appreciate that. In the meantime, though, we gotta, ugh. We gotta get Pumpmon up. Level 7 is nothing, okay? For for a second to last evolution requirements, uh, level 7 is nothing compared to 8, which is nothing compared to 9. And don't get me started on 10, it's terrible. There's so much grind. Woo! Yeah, look at that. See? I'm not even, like, concerned. Here, finish that off. It's just so great. Every time he wins, he lifts his cane like, Haha, I actually don't need this cane. I just use it to look noble. We all know that. I mean, you and I know that. We've already discussed this. And, you know, it's whatever. It's like when your friend picks up bass, and they'll, like, carry the bass around, and they'll just keep slapping on it. And it's an electric bass, so you can't hear what they're slapping. But it, you finally, one day, right, after they're just walking around, like, plucking on their bass, looking all cool, you lean your head in, and you realize they're not actually playing any notes. It's kind of like that. But I think Noble Pumpmon is just so cool, I'm not going to call them out on it. I'm just going to let them do their thing. Yeah, I mean, wh say what you will about the boy, he gets results. Level six. I guess since the roll for today was pretty good, we should probably go ahead and just push him to level seven. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be in the middle of drawing commissions later and then they're going to not evolve and I'll just not know it. Cause it's probably gonna be straight up Evo failure. And then that's, that's the quietest death of all. Cause you don't know what's happened until suddenly they're just dropping stats like flies on a, on a horse. Right? We're just gonna push this real far, real fast. It's- this is crazy. I don't know what Pumpmon's lose face looks like. I don't know what it looks like when they lose. I just don't. I guess I'll go ahead and finish off Omekamon because I do- I could use that experience booster for the next generation. Here. Think about the future, Noble Pumpmon. That probably is one of the most noble things one could do, after all. Sneak says, uh, on blue, Area 43 is high tier grind spot 2, but I don't recommend it until ultimate or super ultimate. I mean, we're- we're all- well, no, I guess we are not ultimate. Depending on which- uh, the way you're saying ultimate and super ultimate, I assume you mean the, the Japanese naming convention. Probably, yeah. I mean, I almost don't know if I want to see Noble Pumpmon's lose face. I've just never seen them lose. And it, it doesn't matter what Digimon you have. Whenever they lose, Whenever they have that beep, 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 it's like a, ah, it makes you cringe. It makes you, it kind of makes me want to throw up, you know? I don't like it whenever they, they lose and feel pain. And the noise is just so, I guess, well-designed. Who could, who would think that a simple beep, 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 beep would be able to instill such a physical reaction in me? But it's got this physiological effect. Okay, well. There's level 7, assuming I haven't missed the window. They're going to evolve into some kind of strong boy. I, you know, I suppose it's left to be seen. And then, um... Yeah, I, I guess Triceramon X is just kind of... Just kind of doing that. Twas not meant to be! I'm gonna go look over at Humulos' handy dandy site. Give me a second. I'm gonna see if there's, like, maybe something else that we could run down. Maybe we could just start this egg right now. Ugh. Yeah, I wanted Prince Mamemon X so bad. Okay, well I'll have I'll have a think about it because I want to write out a plan. I don't want to just say let's start the egg and I'll go from there because that's just kind of you know we got to plan these things out, guys. You know we got to do we got to do right by them. I say this as the guy who whose Triceramon X went off into a farm where they could play with other Triceramon Xs. I realize that, but it, that's besides the point. Hey, why don't we go see what's up with the community? <laughs> Yumiulo says time to update the site to throw Kakujo off. Don't you dare. Firstly, I just wanna I just wanna celebrate with fuel waster here they said after much delay due to the coronavirus the dmx version 3 yellow came in the mail thank goodness i'm so happy i don't know how i was lucky enough to be able to get my stuff in before all that went into effect i think maybe it's just because japan you want and i think de japan both i think they, they cut down their shipping methods down to the ones that were like definitely in service or either that or i just I was lucky and I picked the right mail service or whatever. Anyway, congratulations, Fuel Waster. You got yourself a virtual pet. Woo! Milk Leg Scoops got Monzemon and Vegemon. And, okay, that's that, that's that gift love again right here from me. Vegemon always looks great. I was playing the Digimon card game with Lily yesterday for the first time. I broke out the, the red and the blue 
And um, I was also letting her just look through the cards that we opened in the booster box the other day. One of the cards we got was Vegemon, and then yeah, Lily saw it. She sees Vegemon, she's like, that looks just like Weeping Pal. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It looks like Vegemon, and it's awesome. The lethargy got a sleeping Paldramon. All mighty Digimon, when they sleep, are reduced to the likeness of babes. And this one is no different. Look at the, look at this. Oh, actually, I don't know what I'm looking at, but either way, that's cute. Max Kim's got Winnie the Pooh Mon and Predator Mon. <laughs> I love the names that people are giving to their Digimon for the group patch that I, is that still going on? There, uh, it's like a Hollywood blockbuster group patch where you're supposed to like raise Digimon that are kind of like um, things that you could say this is like that one character from that movie or whatever. And I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about what they actually are, okay? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to respect what they are now. That's Predator Mon. That's Winnie the Pooh Mon. In fact, I think maybe we just, just kind of do that from now on. That's just their names. That's all there is to it. Ooh, I don't recognize Daughter of Anubis posting in the in the Discord. This is a mighty collection, though. Wow. Holy cow. We've got some Digivice ICs. We've got this, like, straight-up actual gold Digimon V-Pet over here. We've got a- is that a mini? Minis! we got three minis! We got a pendulum progress. Also, uh, probably the crown jewel of this to me is this very transparent shell V pet over here. 100% clear, pure transparent shells. Um, might be very much like a gaudy aesthetic by today's standards, but as a, as, a, as a 90s kid, it's just fire. Daughter of Adubus, that's an incredible collection. Very nice. Very good to look at. <laughs> Little series has got Blastoise over here, and I just I, I just love looking at this shell. I just love looking at it. And all the poops. Uh, it's very accurate for the V-Pets version 20th. There's constant poop. Oh, wait, I missed this one. Daughter of Anubis took this one out. This is a glow-in-the-dark shell. My God. There's more pictures of it. Oh, they started it up, too. Sorry, I, sorry. I, I'm, I'm probably paying too much attention to Daughter of Anubis's collection, but it's hard not to. It's really hard not to. On the other hand, Craft, they got themselves a V-Pet, and they get, it got in today. I'm very, very glad for them. I hope that they enjoy it. And all the, the poop. Good mons, good shells, good collections. I'm glad to see so many people seemingly picking up their first V-Pets, seemingly intent on expanding their collections. It's very nice. I, I hope Bandai sees this, you know? I know a lot of times if we're using proxy services, it's hard for Bandai to do numbers on exactly where things are going. I don't know, maybe the proxy services do report on where things are going. Probably not, though. I mean, that just seems like that's not something they have to do. But if they are doing it, hopefully Bandai sees it. And hopefully they're like, well, yeah, we gotta be sending more virtual pets over to America. I'm thinking about going out and buying, like, 20 version 20 Englishes. Thinking about it. Don't know if that's how life works. But, uh, yeah, I'm just saying, like, if I could, if I had Bruce Wayne money, okay, if I were a child and I lost my parents because my mom wanted to keep her pearls, and I became a cabillionaire because I inherited my mom's pearl money. I'm just saying, I probably wouldn't fight crime, okay? I actually like clowns. I, I, I don't think clowns are that scary. I think they're actually quite fun. I'd spend my money on just shouldering the entire d marketing decisions of Bandai's virtual pet division, okay? I'd go out there, I'd buy every single one. Every time, I'd go to every GameStop. I'd go to every GameStop and buy every V-Pet version 28th. I'd use my jumbo jet to fly from GameStop to GameStop around the country so they wouldn't be like, oh, obviously this is just one crazed lunatic tick in the Portland area buying Digimon Virtual Pet. I guess that's all for today then. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Thanks patrons for supporting this channel, especially No Bro Shifter, Dog Turner 89, Cookie Face, Kitsy Fluff, and Milk Leg Scoop. Thanks everyone, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one!